Hi everyone, welcome to Java Express channel. Uh, today I'm going to discuss about one of the important interview question, a difference between IOC container versus dependency injection. Already one video we uploaded component versus bean in the YouTube channel where we created an interview guide where you can able to see all types of interview questions in that particular group where just you can verify in our Java Express channel guys. Guys, a lot of students will make a mistake uh, when anyone ask a container versus dependency injection a lot of people are quite confusion question here let me clarify today with some couple of points and then we'll go for demo as well guys okay just have a look now now what is ioc container okay is nothing but inversion of control ioc is nothing but inversion of control on top of your jvm we can create any number of ioc containers here when i say container we are giving a control to the container actually okay see see read this point giving controller to the container to get object creation nothing but ioc like in simple terms if you have a java code you want to create a student object like how you will create student s is equal to new student like a programmer will create the object for you here instead of programmer creation here ioc container will create the object for you that is nothing but your ioc here inside your project you may have n number of objects all the object creation taken care by your ioc so that ioc is a principle it is used to manage and collaborate the dependencies and metadata as well so to perform this ioc is kind of a loose coupling between the object dependencies in the real time you may have a different kind of objects and there is a dependencies here ioc will use dependency injection to manage the objects this is the point you should be remember here then again what is dependency injection here okay if you see i have a a class i have a b class now in the a class i want to use the b class as a dependency here now this kind of dependency taken care by your ioc controller via di to perform this kind of dependency also we have a types here if you see the process of injecting one class object into another class is called dependency injection it's kind of a design pattern where you can remove dependency from the programming code hope now you have a clear some idea on ioc controller and as well as inversion of controller and as well as dependency injection let me come to the uh, uh, use case here now this is a normal spring boot application i have only the web dependency in this project now if you see i have a employee service now uh, inside this employee service i have employee dao i have inside an employee dao okay i may Make it as a constructor a default constructor and this is one normal method to create the object by ioc what you will do just simply you can make at the rate component annotation here or at the rate repository at the rate, you can use any annotation so at a runtime container will create a singleton object for sing, uh, employee dao in the same use case even employee service here at the rate component here here two objects will create by your employee service here if i run this application you can able to see the constructors in the logs as well just to see here spring boot application assume that these two are independent services two constructors will be created uh, employee dao default constructor again employee dao default constructor a default employee constructor why these many number of constructors means uh, let me go to the service here let me comment it here why because myself i created right now just let me comment it here now if you run this application you can able to see two constructors these two constructors taken care by your ioc now uh, let it be application start uh, see employee dao but here there is a dependency between these two 
in the employee DAO, I have a method called create employee. See, employee is created in the DB. Now, from the service layer, I want to invoke this method. Old, old approach, how you will do by using creating yourself your object. But this object creation already done by your IOC container. But instead of do, just you can use a dependency injection feature via setter injection, constructor injection, and field injection. Here, if you make at the rate auto word, automatically your object creation will happen. You can able to call. This is called a dependency injection between two classes here. Now, from the demo application, what you can do? You need to create an object. Okay, how you can create an object here, you will get your IOC container. This is called your context object. Inside this context object dot, there is a method called get bean method. Okay, now uh, from container, what object you need? I need employee service dot class. So at runtime, you will get the instance, your employee service. From this employee service, if you call, you can able to call your DAO as well. Now see, create employee here. Now just run this application now, Spring Boot application. Now you can able to see both, see, yeah, oh, why, 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 okay. Let me stop the application. Why? Because server is already started run as Spring Boot application. From the employee service, you are calling your, which one? Create employee. See here, employee DA constructor executed, default constructor executed, calling employee DA from service layer, employee is created in the TP. So this is the difference between your dependency injection and as well as your IOC container. Guys, if you like this kind of examples and this kind of questions, please leave your comments and just like and subscribe our channel. Thank you, guys.